So much going on right now. We're at Cardinals training camp, the Diamondback season, and, of course, just yesterday the Phoenix Suns introduced Tyus Jones. You've got the Olympics going on with five members of the Suns and the Mercury. A lot to talk to our next guest about. And joining us right now on the Arizona Sports Line, the CEO of the Suns, the Mercury, and the Footprint Center, Josh Bartlestein, our guest here on Burns and Gambo. Josh, welcome back to the show, man. How are we doing today? Always good to be on. Thanks for having me, guys. Happy to be here. Yeah, well, well before we talk about the Suns offseason, I want to get your thoughts on just the festivities and everything went by, how successful the WNBA All-Star game was because it seemed like it was a really big hit for everyone involved. It was awesome. Um, you know, I told the story in, in my first meeting with Matt when he hired me. Uh, that was the first thing you wanted. You wanted a WNBA All-Star. You wanted it in 24. And we set ourselves on a journey to go get it. Um, and we kind of joked around here, like our goal was to make it the best and best is subjective. But I think leaving that weekend, everyone that was here is using the word best. Um, and for us, kind of timing the opening of the new Mercury facility, the $100 million investment was perfect. There's nothing like it. And all the players who saw it um, are still talking about it. And then we just had a, you know, an awesome weekend of celebrating the growth of women's sports, the growth of the WNBA. I thought the game was terrific. Um, the entertainment was great, the experience. So uh, everyone here is still talking about it. And I think, obviously, Team USA women's are playing right now and will lead to a great last half of the year. All right, Ed, what everybody's talking about is the addition of Tyus Jones. That will not stop. People are just floored that the Phoenix Suns were able to get arguably a top 15 point guard in this league at a vet minimum contract. Uh, obviously, you guys went after Monty Morris. You kicked the tires on Kyle Lowry. Nobody thought at that time that Tyus would sign for a vet minimum contract. He ended up signing with you guys. When did this come about? How quickly did it all happen? Yeah, we, we've been working it. You know, we, um, I'm really happy with our summer, and obviously getting Tyus to cap it off is just, is just a grand slam. Um, you know, Kevin Bradbury is a, and his agent and I are close. Uh, so James Jones and myself have kind of just been checking in with Kevin um, over the, la in the last two weeks and just kind of seeing where his market was and understanding, you know, we offered something very unique to go compete for a championship, the ability to start, to play in Phoenix, to be with Bud, um, and, and to be with really, really good players. Uh, so as we kind of kept checking in and, and you could kind of see the excitement and change and getting to talk to Tyus, then we recruited him. Um, you know, we we made a plan of hey, we're going to treat this like a, a college recruit and go out go all out and and you know talk to his wife and and be able to show him why his kids will love being here. Um, so it was a two week process that every day we kind of had different touch points. Um, and when we got that call and he said he was in, uh, we were ecstatic. Josh Bartle, seen our guest here on the Burns and Gambo show. I I'm certainly not taking anything away from the skill to negotiate and to kind of sell them on the job and sell them on the vision and things like that. But how much of it was reliant on luck to a certain extent that he didn't sign with anybody else earlier in the period? Cause I, I think there's, you know, there, that's, that's what a lot of the disbelief is sort of rooted in. They just can't believe a guy like that was still available at this point. Yeah. I think in all sports, you know, luck plays a big part in it, whether it's uh a ball that goes in and out, you know, a pass ball in baseball where someone's tackled on a football field. Like, the, the degree of separation is so small. And in free agency, um, look, you can be someone's second option five different times, and if they get their first option in all five of those teams, you can go from making 10 or $15 million to a minimum. Like, that, that's the degree of separation, how thin the margins are. So, um, look, once, once then, the, then there is really no negotiation for a minimum, right? All, all we can offer is a minimum. So well, we, on the periphery, we can offer all these other things about just the, the, the experience here, how we treat your family, um, the role. So, yeah, like if, if someone would have offered a, a multi-year huge contract, like we're not kidding ourselves. Uh, of course that's going to happen. But once it gets into a range of where you're looking to reestablish your market maybe next summer, um, I believe we have incredible things to offer here. Living in Phoenix, the city, the people, what we're building culturally. Um, and, and our view is we can win a lot of ties and even win things that is close. And, and I think that's what happened here. What's been the reaction among your players, even though some of them are abroad right now playing in the Olympics? Oh, uh, we've, we've been talking. We've been, even with the time change, we're talking. They're all thrilled. Um, you know, Tyus is just, he's a proven winner. And he's done it at a really high level. Um, and they just see the fit, you know, what's a natural fit, how to optimize our guys, um, Kevin, Devin, Brad. Um, but just really the whole roster. I think if when we look back on, on this offseason, I, I was 
uh, James and I, James Madden and I were all speaking yesterday, and just the, the last day of the regular season, we got Grayson's extension done. Um, and, and I think that's a great extension and having Grayson here. And I think if you look at the market, he probably, uh, you know, is, is getting more nuts. So getting that locked in was huge. And getting Monty Morris and Tyus, re-signing Royce, re-signing Bull, our draft, and getting two guys we really, really wanted and targeted, um, and getting two more picks, adding Coach Bud. So, you know, that it's kind of, I hope, slowing down a little bit here in August 1st. But looking back over the course of the last two months, you know, we've, we've really, really happy with the team we've put together. And, and obviously, Tyus, our players are thrilled with adding him. Yeah, I mean, I, I said time and time again, one of the reasons you get a player like Tyus is like, and he had, he could have went elsewhere for more money, Atlanta and Memphis, but he's betting on himself that he could turn it into a bigger contract. But culture, the culture you guys, and people say, oh, the Suns, like they lost in four games. Well, well the culture is everything. I mean, it's everything that you guys do to create this environment that everybody wants to play in. I mean, you were the top destination last year for a lot of those vet minimum guys. You're a top destination this year yep. for players. So tell me about that. Tell me about building the culture in such a short amount of time. Yeah, it's something that we've talked a ton, a ton about. And it's, you know, I use the, the quote, you know, thinking big, acting small. There's a ton of things we've done. You know, we built a new $2 million family room in the arena for our, our sons and Mercury players. That stuff matters. We've rebuilt our player services. So, you know, when you show up and you're, and you're here, you know, whether you need to look for a house or schools, like all those things, we have a concierge level service for you. So it's easy. Um, we want to make your life as easy as possible you play for the Mercury or sons. Um, to making sure your partner is taken care of and dinner reservations and having an amazing medical team, really investing in that to keep you healthy. So there's no one thing, but I think if you look at the spectrum of all things we care about, from player care and family care, we keep investing in it. And some of that is things like the family room. Some of it is adding staff members that, that do that intentionally and building a concierge program. Some of it's just how you're treated in the communication and relationships. Um, I think if you ask our players, they feel it. They see it, and that's what matters most to us. All right, the Olympics are going on. You've got a lot of players between the uh, the Mercury and the Suns out there. I know uh, Matt was going to fly out at some point to go watch Team USA play. Just give me your impressions so far on Durant being able to come back and Booker starting and how well they played. Yeah, it's awesome. I, it's it's so cool to see, you know, two of our guys uh, from the Suns out there and three from the Mercury. Uh, obviously, Devin's been great starting just doing everything. Um, you know, he just impacts winning in every single way. And to be a superstar and do that is pretty cool to see. Um, and KD, you know, what can you say? The guy, you know, he comes back from his cast, you know, doesn't miss. Um, you know, he's, he's just, a, he's just, he's Kevin Durant. Um, and to see the impact he's had on that team, um, how he ties things together, how effortless it looks. And just to see how happy they are. I think the coolest part for us is to see those guys laughing on the bench, high-fiving, um, just having so much fun representing their country representing the Phoenix Suns. So, um, you know, we're lucky to have them. Uh, and sometimes you pinch yourself a little bit, the fact that both those guys are on our team. And then, obviously, the women's team won today. And seeing BG and Ka and Diana out there, um, having five players is a really, really unique thing here in Phoenix. Yeah, no doubt, and one to be celebrated for sure. Josh, we appreciate the time as always. Congratulations on what has been a very noteworthy offseason, and that's putting it mildly. We appreciate the time today. We'll talk soon, okay? Always. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Josh. Uh, Josh Bartlestein, the CEO of the Suns and the Mercury, our guest here on the Burns and Gambo show. Thanks for watching Burns and Gambo. Click to see more from the guys and hit the button in the middle to subscribe so you never miss a video from Arizona Sports.